Hello YouTube, this is Everything Epan here, and today I'm doing a video tutorial on how to install Linux Mint 18 in VirtualBox or VMware. Now this is the latest version as of uh, September 21st, 2016, the date uh, this video was recorded. And um, this uh, build is codenamed Sarah, and it's not really a build, this is a full um, latest release of Linux Mint. And this is the download page that will be linked in the description. And there's the Cinnamon version, Mate version, um, KDE and XFCE version. I just do the Cinnamon because it's the um, most popular and the most used um, version. So there's 32-bit links and 64-bit links. Uh, you can download those from there. Uh, VirtualBox and VMware links will be in the description as well. So you want to... Um, Create a new virtual machine. So I'm just going to call it Linux Mint 18. And for the uh, version, I don't know if they, yes, they do have a lot of versions here, but Linux Mint is not on here. So what you need to do is just hit other Linux, either 32 or 64 bit. I'll hit 64 bit, we'll hit next. I'm going to bump up the RAM a little bit to um, 2 gigs and hit next. And then uh, we're going to create a virtual hard drive. And we're going to make this slightly bigger, 10 gigs, and create it. And then we're going to hit settings, storage, and then we're going to browse for the ISO, which mine is located right here. Click OK and click start. Now, this is a 1.58 gigabyte. ISO file for the 64-bit version. I'm not sure if the 32-bit's bigger or smaller when it comes to this, but yeah. So it's going to load up here into the Linux Linux Mint uh, boot here. So it says automatic boot, and it'll count down from 10 to the 10 to 1. And it's going to boot, and it will actually run a live version of Linux Mint, which. That is, in this case, if you do not want to install Linux Mint on your actual PC, you can run it without installing it. But I'm also going to be showing you how to install it in case you want to. So it'll just kind of keep loading here. And it will eventually um, give you the startup sound like it just did there. And there you are, you're running Linux Mint already from the disk. And you get all the applications here, you get the, um, uh, you get Firefox as your web browser, you got software manager, system settings, terminal, which is the command prompt for Linux, um, your files and log, log out and quit. So you can basically run this without having to install it. And it look, as it's already got full screen resolution, 1920 by 1080. Um, so that's kind of cool. But in case the people that want to uh, see how to install it, I'm going to be doing that in this video as well. So here, after you double click on install, select your language and hit continue. Um, you can install third party software if you want, but I'm not going to, so hit continue. And then basically you would do erase disk and install Linux Mint. These other options, you can click them if you want. I'm not quite sure what these are. Um, or if you click something else, this is if maybe you're installing it on an actual PC. This could be if you're dual booting like Windows, uh, like say Windows 7 or Windows XP or something like that. And you're dual booting it with this. This is where you would want to go to uh, format your partitions and everything. So. But I'm not going to do that. We're just going to go um, back and we're going to do erase disk and hit install now. Now it's uh, confirming this is what you want to do. So just hit continue. And it's going to proceed into the time zone selection. Hit the one you want, hit continue. Now it's going to ask for your keyboard layout and language information. So mine is there. And uh, you can test it out right here. 
and then hit continue once that's finished now this is where you pick your username so I'm just gonna do everything epan and you can do a password if you want and you can do automatically log in um, but it does require you to uh, have a password but we're going to log in automatically and we'll just do a password and the check mark means they match so let's continue and it will now start to install Linux Mint version 18 on your virtual machine so just let it sit for a while uh, it's going to do the copying files and uh, installing everything so just let it sit if you're installing this if you're running it just from the disk I have no idea why you're still watching this you can still watch it for just for fun but um, just let it sit for a little while and it should be good and I'll be back with you guys once it's done alright so that went a little quicker than I expected uh, it says installation has finished you can continue testing Linux Mint now but until you restart your computer any changes you make or documents you save will not be preserved. So let's go ahead and restart. And you can take the ISO out now. I guess we'll wait until it actually reboots. Maybe we'll just leave it in. I have no idea what it's trying to do here. Now we need to remove it. And then press enter. There we go. Now it's rebooting the machine. And you see the dots coming up here. Now it's loading up. And it's go start it up and play the sound and there you go Linux Mint is up and running um, this is the cinnamon version 64 bit um, so there you go guys that's how to install Linux Mint 18 in VirtualBox or VMware thank you guys for watching um, stay tuned for more videos um, there'll definitely be some more coming in the future more actual hardware videos coming more tutorials coming whatever you guys suggest just leave comments down below so um, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. Don't forget to share the video so that you can see it. Leave your ideas in the comments down below. And I'll be sure to look at them. And do not forget to subscribe. Once again, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.